in this little hangout area. A fire going here. Nice and warm. A little wood cut up. I'm gonna run up some more, but that feels amazing right now because it is currently 34 degrees. Which I know 34 is not crazy, but it's really windy. And I don't know like the science behind the wind, but I know it makes it colder. So yeah, standing here with no wind is not bad at all, but it gets to gusting and it gets a little chilly. And it's been raining for days here. Like there's hardly ever water in there. And yep, way up. So we're gonna be a little bit of a chilly night because it's supposed to snow a little bit later on. It snow when I got here, but it's since kind of died off. Flurry here and there, but yeah, I'm gonna stuck that fire up some more and I figure I start cooking some dinner. I haven't eaten today, so I'm getting a little hungry. Almost ready for the cooking break. See that or not, but got some snow coming in now. I'm just gonna stick around or yeah, like that. I don't think really I'm supposed to get any accumulation, but I'm hoping. Really hoping we get some snow here. Oil got cold. Now it looks pretty disgusting. All right. I know this is not like legit fish and chips material, but it just looked interesting. I've already opened it. Parmesan crusted whole fillets. Wild caught Alaskan pollock, real Parmesan cheese. Sounds good. I don't know. And the oil's already getting hot. It's literally been on there for like a minute. Nice hot fire. But I gotta show you the fries. Chips. Chips. They're fries. But that's all I could find. I know, I think, like, English chips are like the big ones, like the steak fries. Right? No? It was this for waffle fries, so this is as close as I was going to get. Checkers, rallies, I've never had these. There's no checkers or rallies even anywhere near here. I found these in a Dollar General. Famous seasoned fries. I don't know, we're going to have to work. I'm sure you can hear that in the background. That oil is crazy hot. This is dangerous. Definitely going to burn myself. So one like inspiration for this, which I've just been wanting some fish for a while, but I know a lot of people have already tried Dukes and you know, it's on the Dukes train. Duke Southern sauces, I know they made mayo, all right? And I heard it was really good, but I've never tried it. Um, then I see they got like all kind of other sauces. Like I think they're just like mayos basically, but this actually says Gulf Coast Lemon Garlic Aioli. It's got a little fish up here. Add some sunshine to that seafood dinner with a dose of citrus and garlic aioli. Should be all right. Different than like plain old tartar sauce, right? So those are pretty much done. That took like five minutes. So I think they're about ready to come off. Fire. All right. Very unhealthy dinner, but 
try one of these chips. Definitely got nice and crispy. Where they're seasoned, they didn't really like change color. Nice and crispy though. It was really not bad. So I'll just throw them on the ground. If you ever had Denny's seasoned fries, like the, the diner, whatever, they're a little better, like my favorite seasoned fry, but it's got plenty of seasoning on them. Got a little, little done. Definitely some like white flaky fish in there. Yeah, not bad. The Parmesan is a little bit faint, like it's there. Well, they could have went a little heavier. Try our sauce here. I should shake it, I don't know. No, I know it's not a hot sauce, that's usually what I do, but you gotta mix it up some, right? Ooh. Heavy on the lemon. That's oh, pretty heavy on the garlic too, but the lemon's a more dominant flavor, so I'll try a little bit on our fish here. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I love it or not. It's not bad. It's definitely better on the fish than it is just like playing around on the bottle. You know, obviously. A little on the side there. Try a chip in it. I'm, yeah, I know. I can already read the comments. I know, not even close to a chip. It's not bad on there though. I don't hate it. Yeah, not too shabby. I know what I'm going to do though. It's because I think it'll be tasty and I thought of this ahead of time. And I'm kind of proud of myself. Because normally I would forget. This little layer on the fish here. I don't know if you guys are as big a fan of Old Bay as I am. Like, I don't put it on everything, but it's good stuff. I like it. Generous little dash on there. That ain't bad. Yeah, that ain't bad at all. First of those fries, chips. I don't know what to call them. For all you like purists out there, or like, you know, actually like English people, you're not gonna be pumped about this. But it's still potato, right? Just a different version. But, I was out of time with this whole wintertime darkness stuff. <clears throat> In West Virginia, it's, it's gonna be dark soon. It's like pitch dark by like 5.30ish. So I was trying to hurry and I didn't really have time to shop around and hear that. That was really crispy. So I wish it was more legit. At least I'm trying new things, right? What was it Checkers and Rally? To find one of those and maybe see what else they got. All right. 
So you guys know me better than this by now. I'm not going to eat something without putting hot sauce on it. So I'm going to try this little combo out here. Nice big dab of that. I didn't really know what hot sauce to use on this. I didn't get a new one. The Melinda's Original Habanero. It says three X's extra hot. I've had this on the channel, but it's just been a while. But it's only got three out of five little flames for a rating. It's definitely not that hot. But I don't know what would have went good on here, but for those of you that know me know that I have a fridge full of hot sauce, so. I just kind of grabbed the first one that sounded like it might be all right. I don't know. Couldn't be terrible. I'll see that. I'm gonna make a mess. That is not terrible. I just don't know what kind of hot sauce to use with fish. Like I know a lot of people use like Louisiana or like Cajun, which I had some, but just want to mix it up a little. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna do it again. I can't believe this is just not all over me by now. All right, well. I'm gonna finish off my dinner here and maybe go steal one more piece of that fish. But other than that, I gotta start that fire back up because it's dying down a little now and it's not warming up any. The wind's calmed down like a touch, but it's nice and cool out. Okay. Dinner's finally settled a little bit. Not a lot, it's still, it's too much. I had too many fishes, uh, but it's settled enough. I uh, feel noticeably unhealthier now after eating that. Whew, a lot of deep fried and bread and, well, you saw. Anyway, uh, this I've heard of, and I think it has only been in other states, and I just saw it here for the first time, was it yesterday, day before? Yeah, monster alcohol, like the monster energy drink. The Beast Unleashed, hard 6.0% white haze. I don't know what white haze flavor is. I don't see on here what that's supposed to be, but it says a 12 ounce can, right? Uh, I don't know, doesn't it say? Well, per 12 ounces. Uh, 130 calories <clears throat> out of Minnesota, MN, MN's Minnesota, right? Cold Spring, Monster Brewing. So apparently, I did a little quick rundown of the label here. They've been making Monster for 30 plus years, and they're about to turn 21. Wait, right, that doesn't make no sense. Original crew has been making drinks, all the crew's been making drinks for 30 plus years now. Crew. Uh, favorite brand Monster Energy about to turn 21. Why not celebrate? We hit the lead on the energy blend, cut out the caffeine, and ditched the sugar. Next, we brewed up the smoothest tasting alcohol ever and blended it with our tried and true flavors. Huh, might uh, be all right. No sugar to weigh you down. Get ready to celebrate and don't be afraid of the big bad beast. I don't know, at first I thought bad news. You know, like four locos back in the day. So I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. Still, just don't know what white haze flavor is supposed to be. We'll find out together, shall we? Uh, I'm not looking forward to this at all. I can't even tell what that smells like, other than bad decisions and possible hangovers. really odd I guess it's not what I expected I don't even know what that is I really can't even place that flavor at all 
Do I have COVID? It just tastes like wet liquid. As opposed to dry liquid. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe like a hint of citrus? I can't tell. Like I really cannot tell. I should have Googled it first. You know, back when I had service. Maybe the internet would tell me what white haze flavor is supposed to be. It's not bad. It's kind of smooth. Like not like super seltzery or anything like that. It definitely doesn't taste like a 6% alcohol of any sort. Hmm. It's definitely not like overly sweet. That's really strange. That's a lot better than I expected it to be. Yeah, it's not terrible. I don't know. There was three or four flavors, I want to say. I think there was like a peach and a something else. I don't remember. But I'll try those in the future, but I think I'm going to stick with this one for now. I don't know. I'll definitely finish it. I'd get it again. I mean, I don't think it's my favorite. I'd rather have this over like a, like one of the actual seltzery ones, like the White Claws or any of that. I don't know, I couldn't do many of them. I'd give it like a six flat. Well, fire is going pretty good. Going pretty nice. So, I think I'm gonna go over and sit by that for a little bit and finish the rest of this mystery liquid burn up some more of this wood i got enough to stay good and warm for a little while but i'm not gonna sit there until two in the morning for no good reason well i'm down on my last couple pieces of firewood burning here you can see that's that's the last of it the wind has actually calmed down but it's still pretty cool so i'm just gonna let that go and maybe head to bed get up and hopefully make a tasty breakfast just stick around for that well good morning so uh, yeah we didn't get any more snow it's actually really super nice out there wasn't much of a chance anyways but I was hoping but that's nice because it really has been raining for days here. Super gray out, super muddy. Like, was it the day before yesterday? It literally rained almost the entire day. Like, there's flooding in places. It's not a great winter time right now. It's supposed to be snow, but we don't get that a whole lot here anymore, it seems like. But the sunshine is gonna be nice, especially to go make breakfast. So I'm gonna get up and go do that. I gotta get cleaned up and packed up and all that stuff. So stay tuned for breakfast. I think it's gonna be good. All right. So that's it. Got a little stealth breakfast. What we're gonna do here that is the bridge right there we'll go over in a few minutes and kind of get like a closer shot of that all right let's see if we got some fire here nope there it is so we're going with some diced canned potatoes they don't turn out too bad usually a little cooking spray Bananas, of course, definitely makes potatoes pretty tasty. Uh, sausage has been going for a few minutes, should be a whole lot longer. All right, let that cook a few more minutes. I'm gonna have a coffee. I don't have anything new this time, 
Like I said, I was in a hurry yesterday, so I just grabbed what I like, which is the Locomoca Java Monster. The Mean Bean's good too, but just grab that. Throw your hand out by the bridge and kind of talk about that for a minute. Because it's pretty cool history on it, actually. Yep, it has the spot every time. Okay. So I had to Google it. I want to tell you wrong. So, the bridge was originally built in 1852. And it's... Hang on. Well, anyways, it's the longest uh, covered bridge in West Virginia. Uh, it's one of the only two remaining in this county. It was constructed by Lemuel Chenoweth, well-known Appalachian build, bridge builder. Um, the structure is 285 and a half feet long, originally 312. 26 foot wide. It was built for $12,180. And it's considered a double barreled covered bridge because of the two lanes. So, in let's see what year was it? I just saw that too. 1989, it burned down from a spark that was set off from a car from gas running from the gas station. The gas station's like right above it, and apparently some gasoline run down, started a spark, burned it down, destroyed 60% of it. But it was rebuilt, and in 1991, it was reopened. So. It also had some silver, civil, civil war ties and some folklore. So apparently there was a legend that Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis were witnessed by a small boy meeting there to discuss peace terms. That's folklore could not be true, but pretty neat. And in 1861, it was used by both Union and Confederate troops after the Battle of Philippi. Bridge was the first to be captured in a war by either side and was used for a time as barracks by the vicarious, vicarious, I can't even read, victorious Union troops. Wow. So anyways, yeah, pretty cool old bridge. Biggest one in the state. And uh, yeah, it was used in the Civil War. Pretty neat. So by now, after wasting all that time, I've definitely burned that sausage. too shabby looking can't really see it under there I kind of can put some white American cheese um, chives pepper and sour cream now I try to do mine to where the eggs are yolky runny over easy minute meat I don't know but I probably didn't I'm sure I overcooked it oh, I did not actually pretty impressed with myself Got a little crispy in there around the edges where I let it sit for a while with the lid down. Get those eggs to cook through. Also, I've still got some of this Melinda's habanero. Gotta try that on there. I don't know what it is with these little bottles, but they do not like me. I fight these every time. Yep, not bad on there. Oh, I got another hot sauce with me too, actually. 
don't know if any of you remember, some of you longer time viewers probably will. I tried this on the channel a good while back, and originally I was not that impressed with it. But like, I don't know if it just like sat and aged, I don't know. It just, it got better over time. That's really tight, I can't get that loose. About my biggest gripe with this truff sauce was, I think it was like 13 bucks for that. A little steep for hot sauce. Not bad. Not too bad. I don't know if I like it or the habanero better, but both good. Well, now I got a few bites. Just gonna finish this up. guys i finally made it home i don't think you can even see well maybe a little bit it's pretty much dark now but finally made it back so i think that's about does it for this adventure hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh terrible fish and chips i attempted tasted pretty good breakfast was definitely tasty nice and easy i got hash breakfast hash kind of situation and uh hope you enjoyed a little bridge tour not really a tour but i don't know pretty neat bridge pretty historic to the state so i thought it was pretty cool and figured it was about time to get it on the channel so hopefully you like that um yeah i think that'll about wrap it up for this time so thanks for tagging along and uh you know as always we'll do it again next week so come back for that and we'll try to get into something cook some good food but for now Thanks for watching.